Eighteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister says multi-billion rupees commercial project of Islamabad Blue Area will create job opportunities and attract investment from overseas Pakistanis. The Foreign Minister has said Doha peace accord between the United States and the Afghan Taliban has paved the way for intra-Afghan negotiations. The government has closed Pakistan-Afghanistan border at Chaman for seven days as preemptive measures to prevent spread of coronavirus. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops in their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred 10 Kashmiris during the last month. The Afghan president has rejected the Taliban's demand for the release of 5,000 prisoners as a condition for talks. In the 14th match of the Pakistan Super League, Islamabad United will take on the Karachi Kings at Rawalpindi this evening. In the news in detail, Prime Minister Imran Khan says launching the Islamabad Blue Area multi-billion rupees commercial project will not only provide jobs but will also attract investment from overseas Pakistanis. In a tweet, he said one mega project will be launched in Lahore and one in Karachi soon. Earlier, the Prime Minister Imran Khan visited the proposed site of Blue Area opposite F9 Park in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister was briefed that the receipts from the commercial auction to be held next month will be utilized primarily for rehabilitation of the federal capital, provision of services and improvement of environment. A portion will also be utilized for the construction of low-cost housing, particularly for the provision of dignified accommodation to residents of approved Kachi Abadis through Naya Pakistan Housing and Development Authority. Prime Minister Imran Khan will give away undergraduate scholarships to around 50,000 shortlisted needy students in Islamabad tomorrow under the country's biggest ever scholarship scheme launched under the SARS program. Among the beneficiaries of the scholarship scheme, half of them comprising comprise girls hailing from the low-income groups and 2% scholarships have been allocated for students with special needs. The Foreign Minister Shami Mutkareshi says the landmark Doha peace accord between the United States and the Afghan Taliban is a first step towards bringing permanent peace and stability in Afghanistan. Addressing a news briefing in Islamabad today, he said peace deal has paved the way for intra-Afghan negotiations and Norway has expressed its willingness to hold the dialogue. Shami Mutkareshi said both the United States and the Afghan leadership have acknowledged Islamabad's role in realizing this deal. He reiterated that Pakistan will continue its policy of supporting the Afghan people in their efforts to achieve lasting peace and stability in Afghanistan. Shami Mutkareshi said Pakistan will continue its support for an Afghan-owned and Afghan-led peace process for regional stability. He expressed the hope that Afghan soil will not be used against any country and the Afghan leadership will sit together to chalk out a roadmap for peace in the country. The foreign minister underscored the need for assisting the Afghan government in creating an enabling environment for the return of the refugees to their homeland with dignity and honour. The Special Assistant on Health, Dr. Zafar Mirza, says the government is taking effective measures to prevent the outbreak of coronavirus. In a statement today, he said the Health Ministry and the provincial governments are on high alert to deal with the coronavirus. Dr. Zafar Mirza said as a preemptive measure, the Chaman border between Pakistan and Afghanistan has been closed for seven days. He said the international health regulation guidelines are being followed on all air and land routes. He said for any query about coronavirus, people can access helpline 1166. The National Health Commission of China says coronavirus epidemic has been easing in Wuhan and provincial authorities have been asked to ensure the effective identification and handling of any new cases. The Vice Minister of National Health Commission, 
Yu Xiu Chan, while talking to APP in Beijing, said despite the fact that the World Health Organization has given a positive comment on China's epidemic prevention and control, they still face a severe and complicated situation. He said many provinces have already lowered their emergency response levels. The President Azad Jammu in Kashmir, Sardar Masood Khan, has urged the world community to help implement the United Nations resolutions on Kashmir issue. Speaking at the Literary Festival in Karachi today, he regretted that there is no let-up in the Indian atrocities in occupied Kashmir. Sardar Masood Khan said Pakistan has effectively raised the voice for Kashmiris at the United Nations General Assembly. However, India is not willing to resume dialogue. He said the international community should come forward to address the issue of Kashmir. This is Radio Pakistan. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops in their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred 10 Kashmiris during the last month, according to the data issued by the research section of the Kashmir Media Service today. Of those killed, three were martyred in fake encounters or in custody. During the month, 30 people were critically injured due to use of brute force and firing of tear gas shells by the Indian police and paramilitary personnel on peaceful demonstrators in the occupied territory, while 137 civilians, mostly youths, were arrested. Meanwhile, the people of the Kashmir Valley continue being hit by severe hardships due to the ongoing military siege and internet suspension on the 210th successive day today. More than 50% industrial units have completely stopped functioning as a result of seven-month lockdown and internet gag. In view of the mass uprising threat and the upcoming summer season against revocation of Kashmir's special status, India has decided to retain its additional troops brought into the territory in the wake of New Delhi's illegal action of 5th of August last year. The Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, has rejected Taliban's demand for the release of 5,000 prisoners as a condition for talks with his government and civilians. He said this while addressing a news conference in Kabul. The demand has been made during peace agreement between the United States and the Afghan Taliban. Iran says it welcomes any initiative that helps to secure stability and peace in Afghanistan. In a statement, the Iranian Foreign Ministry also expressed the hope that peace deal signed between the American and Afghan Taliban could pave the way towards a full withdrawal of foreign soldiers from Afghanistan and a step towards ending the 18-year war in the country. The United Nations has condemned the recent indiscriminate bombing in several parts of Tripoli and Libya. In a statement, Secretary General Antonio Guterres emphasized that civilians must be protected at all times in line with the international humanitarian law. He also called for an immediate cessation of hostilities and urged the implementation of a recently adopted Security Council resolution. The fighting has killed and injured thousands of people and forced over 150,000 civilians to flee their homes. In Syria, the army has warned to shoot down any aircraft violating its airspace. The state news agency Sana, while citing a military official, said the airspace over northwest Syria has been close to planes and drones. Earlier, the Syrian state media denied that a government plane was brought down in Idlib today. And now cricket. In the 14th match of the Pakistan Super League, Islamabad United will take on the Karachi Kings at Rahul Pindi this evening. The match will start at 1900 hours Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country. However, rain when thunderstorm is expected in Kashmir and its adjoining areas during the next 24 hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also log on to our webpage for live video streaming on facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.